Hi, welcome everybody to Maju the Priestess channel. Okay, today I have a collective reading message. Stay tuned for the zodiac signs. I've already dropped, um, I've already dropped uh, Sagittarius's and Taurus. Um, this is the second time, okay, because I did two readings for each sign. So check them out. I'm still going to release more zodiac signs. However, today's video is a collective reading. Okay, and um, I have so many messages for you guys, okay? Um, Spirit was telling me that my subscribers, my community, and my new subscribers that are going and coming to my channel are chosen ones, okay? Are people that um, God and the universe has put into, into my path, as I would say, my community, because... Um, I have messages, okay? I carry messages for the collective of these chosen ones. Whoever you are, you can be a female, a male, anything that you consider yourself, it is welcome here. We do not judge, okay? So I expect the same energy back because this is something new that um, I'm bringing to the table, Okay, I'm going to be practicing more collective readings because I am a prophet. I am very psychic, intuitive, light worker. And I also am a chosen child of God and the universe. And um, I believe that we have an anointing here that is very special and particular. I'm hearing peculiar. So you may have many <coughs> different gifts. Some of you guys have already developed these gifts. Others of you are awakening to this and others of you chosen ones have not yet awakened these gifts but you will okay so yes um let's first begin with the dream and then i'll go in with a bible a bible verse i don't usually bring the bible to my tarot here not that they're any different to me i personally don't have any uh issue with tarot and religion if you do then this is not the channel for you to watch okay if you are chill and you know you believe in spirit and you believe in the universe you believe in god in the way that you like to describe it not the way the society likes to display it then you know this is this is the place for you because like i said this is whatever religion you are whatever your beliefs is it is welcome here okay so i would love that same frequency and reciprocation now thank you to everyone who has like subscribed to my channel okay you are chosen my love and this is why you've clicked on this video even if it's your first time there's something why you clicked on this video right there's something in your soul in your higher self that yearns for this message i had a dream last night right um that woke me up at seven in the morning and then i had to go back to sleep because i've been having terrible sleep i don't know about you guys but all these retrogrades all these planets going retrograde and all this stuff has had me so weak in terms of energy that's why i haven't really uploaded much because i just felt so tired and i feel like it's obviously because we're all especially us chosen ones i feel like this message is going to resonate with you too like there's a lot of dna upgrades being done during this month and the next few months because this is the season okay for the chosen ones to completely be activated okay i'm hearing we are going to be activated and rise up to our light worker way so that we come and help our community okay this is the time right now where the universe needs so much light and we need to wake up okay and rise to our position rise to our mission so i had a dream that um for the chosen ones it was uh my my higher self came through and she spoke to me very clearly we were in communication i had a lucid dream if you guys know about that comment down below and share your experiences or email me i had a lucid dream last night and in this dream my higher self was kept repeating to me chosen ones right chosen one chosen one and so i asked her am i a chosen one why do you keep bringing it this chosen one and she says of course you've already known this you know that you're chosen but this message isn't for you this is for your collective energy because you see i have a lot of dreams but I always write them down and I don't share it with you guys because I don't know if it's, you know, um, for me or for my collective, right? It's, it's, it's like you really need to be in tuned. And like I said, I haven't really been in tune with like 
synchronizing my life and this channel. Because, you know, it's like you need to realize like we're all connected, right? And so there is no separation. And I feel like at times I act in that separation that doesn't exist. So this message my higher self was telling me is for the chosen ones. It's for you guys. Okay, it is time for you to awaken your powers. She was telling me that it is time for me to lead the way for my people, okay? For whoever that you are, um, I feel like, you know, you, you are part of my fam and my soul tribe because clearly, like, we are connected here. I'm receiving messages for you guys, and I just feel so connected and so grateful to lead, okay, and to be an influence to you guys, a very positive one, <clears throat> So yeah, my higher self obviously said not to give you guys all the details that she was telling me. That's private things, but that's the main message. There's a lot of chosen ones who have subscribed to my channel. Now, I don't know if it's all, but I know that there's many. And God in the universe really wants me to make videos, a lot of videos and content for you guys. This is something that is going to be new to my channel as a segment that I'm going to bring because gosh there's just so much but anyway so i um i started to meditate and really ask the universe like well what what is this dream mean and i just went like this like i just went like this and stopped the page you know what i mean um kind of like just flipping it and when a random one it shows us up so we got uh samuel three one okay this is so crazy, guys, because when I open up this verse, even I was like, wow. So this is my confirmation. Like, I'm in the right path. This message is for the chosen ones. And I'm feeling I'm, I'm being guided by my intuition. And I, I, I love it when I'm going by my intuition. So here it is. It says, so basically, the Lord speaks to Samuel, right? I'm not going to read the whole thing. This is the I'm sure some of you know this or all of you know this story, right? But when when the Lord, when God spoke to Samuel. Right. So I feel like a lot of you guys are being called to your position as a light worker, as a chosen one, as an earth angel. OK. To stop curses in your family, but also to bring in this light to the world. Some of you guys here have big destinies. I'm hearing. OK. Like Samuel, because we have Samuel here and we have Samuel was asleep and God kept showing up in his dreams speaking to him and calling out to him saying samuel samuel okay so samuel thought that this was um someone else who was replying to him who do you think he was it was uh eli so yeah samuel went to speak to eli because he was like yeah you called me and eli's like what are you talking about boy i'm not calling you why are you why are you coming to my room and disrupting my sleep i clearly don't need of you and this happened several times where samuel would get up and be like yes did you call me, Eli? And so Eli had to realize and humble himself and would say, whoa, if I'm not calling him, I believe that God is calling him. So he wanted to know everything that Samuel and God have spoken about and everything that, that Samuel have heard and, and all that experience. So with that said, I believe that <clears throat> a lot of you guys are being called at this moment and you don't know what this calling is, right? Maybe you guys are having dreams where you're hearing your higher self you're hearing voices you're hearing um the voice of god and you don't know how to identify it maybe you don't know how to identify that calling that is going upon your life and you're just like i don't know who it is i, I don't know if it's a demon if it's a ghost if it's a past loved one i don't know if it's just myself crazy which you know no disrespect to anyone who has schizophrenia but like schizophrenia or anything like that OK, um, it's just like. You know that something is happening in your life, a lot of you guys are going to start to receive this calling if this hasn't already happened to you, you're being awakened, you're being called to your position. And I feel like if if you feel alone, Samuel had the guidance of Eli. Right. So it's like whether this message comes through me or from someone else. I feel like you're not going to be alone into this awakening. You not only have God and your angels, but you have someone like Eli around your life that can guide you to at least tell you, hey, you know what? 
this is God calling you to a big mission. This is the universe, what you believe, calling you to a mission here because you are chosen. I'm going to choose some tarot cards here as well. All right. But first I had to start with this prophetic word or message, however you guys want to call it, channeled message here. But Eli kept waking up and he's like, yes, yes, Eli. All right. And he's like, I didn't call you, my son. Go back to bed. Because he's never heard the voice of God before. He didn't recognize it. So some of you guys just have no idea before about spirituality or anything. And this is like, you're being called to it. And you're like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if I'm going crazy. I don't know why I'm having this weird, vivid dreams. You know, what is God showing me? Who am I? All this chaos that's going on around your life. It's like you're having an identity crisis where you just don't know where you're heading, where you're going, what's happening. If you're losing your mind, if you're losing yourself. I'm hearing that Eminem. You better lose yourself to the music. Mm -hmm. You better never let it go. All right. So you could be into music like rap or something like that. But that's coming through. Oop. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, there's a calling upon you. All right. And it says here, um, Samuel replied, speak, your servant is listening, right? So when Eli told Samuel, listen, next time God calls you, respond and say, here I am, my Lord, right? To get the message. So next time you have a lucid dream or you astro project or you hear a voice speaking to you, do not be afraid of it this time. Know that you are protected Go by your intuition, feel the energy, because obviously it's going to be difficult to go to a place of unknown, a place that you've never traveled, a, a place that no one even told you about in society, because we've been told that it's only this 3D that exists and that aliens aren't real and it's just us and none of that is real, right? If you are watching this, a lot of you guys are woke and you know that this is a matrix, a simulation, false, all right? And it's like... You're, you need to listen and say, here I am. Because now is the time where God and the universe is going to reveal to you the plan, your mission. If you don't know this already, what your calling is. This is the time. This is the time for you to step onto your calling if you know what it is. And if you don't know, this is the time to answer the call so you know what it is. But you are a child of God and a child of the universe, a child of the cosmos. And this is why you're being called. Okay? It says... um. Then the Lord said to Samuel, I am about to do a shocking thing in, in Israel. I am going to carry out all my threats against Eli and his family from beginning to end. I have warned him that judgment is coming upon his family forever because his sons are blaspheming, blaspheming God. All right. So I feel that a lot of you guys are being called to your position of prophecy. Okay. So you are very prophetic. You are very psychic. You have premonitions. And these premonitions are so important for you to save your family. Maybe you have dreams about your family members and the routes that they're taking and you need to warn them or a friend of yours or just your community. Okay, whoever whoever you want to inspire. But it's like you have a, a direct communication, right? Chosen ones have direct communication, kind of like Moses. This is the energy I'm getting with God. So this direct communication is because we're obviously not from here, right? We're not from the, from earth, we're aliens. We're light workers sent here to bring love into the world. We've known this all our lives. This is why we've always felt outcasted. This is why we've always felt like we yearned a place to call home, but there never has been. And so it's like you need to answer your call. <sighs> Breathe and go within. Okay, do not be afraid of your power because a lot of you guys are very powerful. For instance, Spirit is saying to give you a little bit of personal experience here. When I first started my spiritual awakening, which is what I feel it's happening to many of you, it literally changed my whole perspective on religion. But not only religion, just society and the material and what people, you know, believe to value. I value different things. I value my dreams more than I value a human's word. You know, I, I value myself all that came through a journey of self-love, which I'll make another video on. But it's like, since I value myself, I learned God through me by loving myself. I learned who God was by healing myself. At some point in my life, all my hands, none of, none of my fingers worked. Okay, I couldn't use my hands. 
there was a lot of witchcraft and black magic being done to me, okay? And I didn't know how to protect myself, save myself. I had no idea. I didn't even know what Florida water was, right? Because, like, I was not into that spirituality, though I was always a spiritual person. I was just always going by, like, Christianity and things. And that is no disrespect to anyone who believes in this Christianity. But my awakening is different than yours and anyone's, right? I am a chosen child. So my awakening was very abrupting because... Through all this, God was revealing to me who was doing black magic on me, you know, by face, by names. It got too intense to see the truth, okay? Because you're, the veil is going to come off in your life and whatever you're going to see, it's going to shock you and you just need to trust. Trust that you hold the power, the wisdom to see these things and just kind of go with this unknown. Follow, okay? Follow this. Even if you don't know where you're going, pray to your angels for protection, but anyways, I started to hear the voice of God, the voice of my higher self, the voice of my angels and my spirit guides. And it tweaked me the fuck out. I remember when I, when I had my first lucid dream, I told my higher self, get me out of here, get me out of here. I gotta get out of here because I was completely in a new dimension, in a whole new dimension that is not this plane. So awake, so, so not asleep, as real as this is. And so that was shocking to me, right? Like, it's like, wait. There's more to this life than people just call heaven. Like there's more than just living and dying. Like there's other ripples of dimensions, other multi-layered galaxies and things that we are connected to. I'm not just speaking like, of course, we know that there's planets and things out there. So there's probably more life. It's like we have a spirit that is like a Russian doll. It's many layers to us in many different dimensions all at the same time. And I was connecting to these other versions of me. While accessing the Akashic records. This was part of my awakening. And it got deep. Because people couldn't understand it. Anyone that was around me was calling me crazy. Because they didn't get this exact messages. It's kind of like Joseph. With his nine brothers and sisters. Um, only brothers I think. Yeah with his nine brothers. Joseph had dreams and revelations. And his brothers were hating on him. Because they didn't understand his anointing. His gift that he had. They were all like. You're just tr you think that you're better than us. And you're not trying to be better than other people. It's just literally you're chosen by God and you can't do anything about it. This is your purpose. Like, that's it. You know what I mean? So let's get straight into it. Because like I said, when I started hearing voices in my dreams, and again, if you are, you know, hearing some type of other voices, I am no psychiatrist. I am no doctor. Go see a doctor if you feel something else. I'm speaking about spirituality here and spiritual awakening. All right. I started to hear the voice of God, of my angels. I started to see Archangel Michael in my dream. And he would show me things, okay? I have, I've already gone through my spiritual kundalini awakening, all right? I've gone through a lot of things that I'll make more video about because it's time, all right? Um, but yes, if this is happening to you, comment down below if you feel comfortable with sharing or email me. Information is on the bio link right there. So... Let's see. Yeah, you need to vacuum away fear. It's like fear is the only thing that's blocking you from accessing your Akashic records, from accessing lucid dreaming, or to really speak with your angels and God. It's like fear is blocking you because you don't believe or you don't want to believe. Some of you guys already have the gift of mediumship and you're so afraid to go into it, to hear ghosts, to hear spirits because you have this gift. You see auras, you see things. Sometimes it freaks you out. You need to accept this because this is a gift that the universe has given you to help other people. All right. And I'm already in here 18 minutes talking no tarot. I really hope you guys are still with me here. All right. We have emotional sensitivity. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. I told you, this sensitive gift that you have of empathy, of loving others, of feeling other people's energy is a gift to us all. Okay? Some of you guys here are on twin flame journeys, I'm hearing. What message do you have here for my chosen one, Spirit? Shield yourself. Okay? You need to shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So some of you guys definitely have here Archangel Michael working with you. And that's why you feel so sensitive. It's because right now you are being psychically attacked. Some of you, okay? And this is why you're feeling the energy more heavy than before. Especially during this retrograde. If this is the time you're watching this. Because this is a timeless reading. Alright? This is this is an endless reading for any time you watch this. Okay? A lot of you guys need to protect your energy. Especially if you're a spiritual 
worker as soon as i said that yeah we have workshop and seminars so a lot of you are already in your path here and um you are um you're giving you you're, yeah you're very good at communicating with your voice here you're a public speaker in some way or you're meant to be a public speaker some of you guys are meant to hold workshops and seminars here attending and giving speeches is part of your spiritual path and purpose be open to teaching and learning yeah you guys definitely are working with archangel gabriel here as well with that throat chakra all right you have a very activated throat chakra it's time for you to um definitely lead this is giving me like his there's an angel here sitting on a rock and it's giving me that moses and jesus energy right because they were always by a mountain some type of hill by the mountain leading okay so you're meant to lead this sensitivity pay attention to your emotions this love this kindness that you feel for others this is a gift okay but you also need to protect yourself and your energy, especially while you're giving workshops and seminars around the world or around your community in the future or now. Yes, we have throat chakra. I told you. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. So do not worry if maybe right now you're shy about speaking in front of others. You're so going to have that confidence to really like um, speak your truth with this throat chakra. Okay, Spirit says stop there. And on the bottom, we have clairvoyant. So yes, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust that what you see in your mind's eye. Yeah, a lot of you guys are seeing things through your third eye. Um, As well as your physical sight. Again, some of you guys could be seeing auras here, ghosts, spirits. Okay, seeing things here as well. Anomalies I'm getting in the 3D, not just the 5D. For your spiritual vision helps with healing, teaching, and guidance. So you're definitely here in, in this time to teach, to heal, and guide others just like yourself. Indigo children, people just like yourself, the chosen ones, okay? And you could see things, and this is a gift that you have because you're chosen and you're so protected here. I'm here at Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That doesn't matter. I wasn't going to say any signs, but that just came up through like so heavy in my head. I couldn't deny it. Okay, let's see, Spirit. What other messages do you have for my chosen ones watching this video? Tell me more. What is the message here for the collective chosen ones? We have grace and the Holy Spirit, okay? You have to be led by your Holy Spirit. You guys have a very active Holy Spirit here. It's because you act on it. It's because you act from love and compassion and empathy. You have this grace about you because you're so sensitive. Like, not sensitive like, oh my God, you're such a sensitive person. No, it's like sensitive in the way where like you have this awareness about you where you can feel energy, you can feel bad vibes, you can feel good vibes, you can feel auras, you could feel or see, sense, smell. You have all these clear sentience, clear audience, clear whatever. Okay, you have a very active Holy Spirit here. That's why I feel like when you guys speak, you speak from your Holy Spirit here. You speak from your mission. What else are my chosen ones watching this? I don't know why my cards are crooked. So I'm not liking this. Messages for my chosen ones. Collective chosen ones. We have risk, physical body, and deceit. Spirit says stop there. Okay. So, um, yeah. Here we have risk, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are afraid to take this risk into the other side, into the unknown. Um, afraid to take this leap of faith within yourself. Afraid to just completely surrender and trust in your angels. Trust in the cycle of life. There's that star. You're definitely chosen. And some of you guys, like I said, are twin flames here. You're meant to collaborate with other people, work with someone else, okay? And there's angels here that are guiding the both of you. We also have physical body, Gaia. It could be our earth sign. And then we have deceit, guardian angels. So you have been, with the shield yourself and deceit, oh my gosh, there's been a lot. Okay, a lot of you guys could be having literal psychic attacks on your physical body. Like maybe you don't have an appetite. Maybe your solar plexus hurts. You get a lot of headaches. Hands, like me, like my hands were hurting. Okay. Um, whatever it is in your physical body, spirit is saying, go exercise, go do some yoga, do something physical, go ground yourself by the trees, by earth. Okay. And also better your diet. I'm seeing a lot of fruits here. You guys need to improve your diet. Stay consistent. Look at all this green. 
work on your heart chakra heal your physical body because you can heal people physical body you are a healer here you have a sense a sensitivity about you where i feel like this may not resonate with all of you guys but some of you chosen ones here can really see and target with your third eye okay like see beyond like where people have physical issues so let's say i'm standing right in front of you 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 would see you would see something i don't know and be like oh i see something in your solar plexus here there's a blockage there you could see people's blockages in their auras in their bodies you know you can tell when someone is sick or is about to get sick like oh yeah be careful in the future you could have like a heart attack or something like that i'm getting all right But again, it's like that too, twin flame thing. You're not in this alone. And we also have physical body because in this physical world, you are meant to be with someone, okay? In this in this um, mission. And you need to use your voice. Some of you guys here could be singers, performers, um, public speakers, writers. You need to use your voice because when you speak, it's with the Holy Spirit here. All right? Um, with the seat and shield, shield yourself. Okay. There has been a lot of black magic, dark magic around you. All right. And your angels are always surrounding you because you're chosen. No one can stop your mission. I know that you felt this deceit around you so much. Look at all these masks. So many people have put a mask around you and you deny this. It's like you were wearing the mask. You're tired of it. You, you don't like to put on a mask, right? Because you like to be authentic. A chosen a chosen one doesn't wear a mask. We're too authentic. And there's been a lot of people here wearing masks around us. Dark shadows, okay? Dark energy that have been attacking even our physical bodies here. Trying to change our appetites. Okay? But you need... Some of you guys definitely need to take a leap of faith here with this workshop and seminars. You need to either attend one or make one. Speak your truth, sing your truth, take action, okay? And look at that again, yin yang. Okay, you are definitely a twin flame here, action. You're both meant to take action together in this physical world. You are being protected though, all right? It's, it's protect yourself from your own fears. But no, like you are definitely freaking protected. All chosen ones are going to be protected from this deceit because this deceit is always going to be around us because we're chosen. You get what I mean? Like that's just how it goes. We have happy family. Four. That's the Ten of Cups. Spirit, why is happy uh, family here for my chosen ones? Victory. I was just going to say, you are meant here to have a happy family with your twin flame, okay? And and bring in divine kids, indigo kids here, okay? Again, it's like you're very blessed. You're definitely here have a destiny to have a happy family with your twin flame and have kids, maybe even two kids, one kid, whatever, okay? If you guys want. But there is victory coming towards you. That's why it's important for you to shield yourself at this time. Whatever you're afraid of, okay, take the risk. And make sure that, you know, you always stay authentic to who you are. And never, like, dim your light for others or wear a mask for others. Be who you are, okay? It's like you're different than everybody. Everybody here is, like, wearing a mask, you know, being a facade. And you just, like, you're so hurt that these people are doing it. You're, like, touching your heart. Your heart is broken. Your heart is broken because it's like, wow, you want me to be like you and wear a mask and not be my true self? Wow, you want, you broke my heart, you know, so you People here have broken your heart. This could have been family members that have broken your heart. But you are here to bring victory, my love. You're here to be victorious in this lifetime with victory, all this gold, success, recognition. Yeah, some of you guys may be dealing with some financial problems here. What is the message for the chosen ones, Spirit? Why was this dream coming through? What's the message for the chosen ones watching this? The collective chosen ones. We have the seat again, guys. Can't make it up. We have the seat again. So, hostilities. Ooh, and strategy. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So, yeah. Um, 
not only has this deceit happened to you in the past, my love, but this deceit is happening right now. Okay, in the physical plane here in the 3D, there are people that are been deceiving you. Okay, they don't want you to take this risk. Okay, to maybe meet with your twin flame if this is a love situation, whatever it is. You're meant to be victorious. And I feel like you need to fight for your position with this sword here. You could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's a path that you need to clear. There's a path that's there for you, but you need to protect because there's people that are being hostile towards you or will be because you have this victory and they don't. Okay, there's been a lot of people that have been deceiving you, but they're going to deceive you because you're going to have this victory. So Spirit is warning you. You need to shield yourself. There has been people deceiving you around your circle. Use your emotional sensitivity. Use your intuition to know who these people are. For instance, when I'm around someone and my stomach starts hurting or something, that's already my initiating like, wait, I don't feel good vibes around you. Or if I just get like a headache around you or something like that, like, Feel your emotional sensitivity. Feel your thing. Like, did you suddenly feel great and now you're with this person and you feel like depressed, sad or something? Like, stay aware of your energy because there's people here that are literally trying to stop this victory that you are about to have or have. Okay? And this is why you need to protect yourself. Because there's people that are strategizing behind you. This could be also family members or someone that you're already married to here for some of you. They're strategizing and you need to strategize yourself about your future and the risks that you're willing to take, okay? Because we have the seat here twice, so clearly this has to be put here. Spirit wants to bring this into awareness. Let's see. Clarify the seat here for my chosen ones, my collective chosen ones. Why is the seat here? Yes, I told you. The six of wands. Again, this victory, okay? You're, you're about to get this rainbow pot of gold, milk and honey here. Look at all this gold, by the way. It's like there's this anointing on you there's this grace this victory you're already chosen this like yeah look at this bottom of the deck destiny this is your destiny i'm gonna put this out this is your destiny yeah to be a priest okay someone who teaches a priestess someone who leads the people and teaches them wisdom of spirituality all right you're about to get this victory and success my love something is destined for you here and people are going to be hostile try to stop it try to deceive you Try to steal, whether this is money or energy or gift. Okay, I'm also hearing someone here could be definitely trying to steal your gifts. But they can't do this to a chosen one. You are going to get the recognition and praise that you are looking for. You're going to be put on this high horse here. And I feel like there's people already that are envious. Because some of you guys are already getting this public recognition. Okay, some of you are known around the world. Like, yeah, because you give workshops and seminars and... You know, you, you're public speakers here or you're performers. And there's just people here that are literally, I'm hearing that Judas part again. I keep getting that reference. I'm hearing that Judas. Because every time I see this guy with this money, he reminds me of Judas. Like people are just ready to sell you out. Sell you out. Tell me more about this deceit for my chosen ones collect. Oh my gosh, guys. Are you seeing this? Please, are you with me? Please comment down below because like, you know, I want to know who my chosen ones are. We need to build a strong community here, guys. Communicate with me. Look at this. The star Aquarius energy. You are chosen. We are chosen. We are stars. Okay? And we're definitely... Look at our destiny, guys. Let's look at our destiny here so these haters, cross-watchers could see too. Look at our destiny. Our destiny is that things always work in our favor. Karma always works in our favor. We're going to get this. It's, it's in our destiny here. So check your birth chart here. All right. It's in our destiny to be successful and shine like a star. Be public speakers with our throat chakra. Again, some of you guys could be singers, rappers, artists, writers, whatever it is that you do. <laughs> all this blue, it's definitely throat chakra. I mean, which chosen one? It's not going to use their voice, right? Look at all these stars. You shine the brightest. Out of all these stars, you shine the brightest. You are the healer of your family. Okay? You are the one that's destined to have this victory. Do you see this victory thing? It's the same thing here twice. With gold. Okay? I hear you're going to have a different victory than others. But look how beautiful these cards are. If you read tarot, you know what is here. What's the T here? Bottom of the deck, the emperor. Again, you're meant to be a leader. You're chosen. You're meant to lead, right? 
What is this person on a high horse doing? Leading. And there's people here that are admiring, okay? This is this is our destiny to lead. You could be an Aries here watching. But tell me about this deceit. I mean, there's people here that want to take your light, take your purpose, take your position, but they can't take this purpose. They can't take your light. It hurts them. Okay, this could be people, three people I'm hearing with this three and three. This could be three people that are upset with you or hurting or heartbroken. This could be a, a ex, someone who put you in a third party situation. Um, or just somebody that's just very heartbroken because they don't have what you have. I'm also hearing like pain is gain. So all this pain and betrayal that people that hurt you and backstabbed you. You're not going to get this victory and success. Ace of Wands. You're very creative. You're going to feel that spark. Okay, you're very, very creative. There's a brand new beginning here for you. <laughs> as soon as I say you're very creative. Okay, you could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo. Look at that. Seven of Swords again. But judgment is coming. Okay, judgment is coming here. Upon those people that have been deceiving us. Trying to take our gift. Trying to take our energy. Talking bad about our names. Okay? Um, stealing money from us. Stealing whatever it is. The spotlight. Somebody wants to take your spotlight here as well. We have the Queen of Wands. So you're obviously very attractive whether you're a male or female. Your energy is very attractive more to say. It's obviously, it's physical too. But just be energy here, right? Because this is energy I'm reading. You could have a black cat or be seeing black cats. These are signs, okay, that... You're very not only connected to ancient Egypt, but um, when you see black cats, for me, it's always like there's some dark magic people are doing behind you. But this black cat is telling you like, "Ooh, you're so psychic. You're so psychic. You see everything. Spirit shows you everything. So it's like it doesn't matter. That's what they don't know. The chosen one spirit shows us everything. The spirit has shown you already this deceit. If you're chosen, you most likely know who these people are or this, this you've already felt with the emotional sensitivity these people here. But you're going to get, there's there's good karma coming towards you. These people are going to get their 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 judgment, okay? Because they have judged you. And now the angels, okay, are calling you to your purpose. This is that horn that, I mean, is it a horn? I forgot. But yeah, they're blowing the horn. Yeah, this is your calling, okay? This is your calling. And someone's trying to take your calling here when they can't. Because you're, that queen of wands, she's very creative, very confident, um, super magical, very connected to spirit. Okay, clarify the seven of swords again, please. Like, yeah, money, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus here. Somebody may definitely secretly be taking your money. As soon as I said that, look at all these pentacles. Okay, you may be coming into some wealth here, some sudden wealth. And you just need to be careful about people trying to take money. Money is also energy, so it could be money, could be energy. Um, take the high resonates. However, we have the ten of pentacles, okay? You are meant to have this victory, success, and also um, generational wealth in your family, okay? It's like first millionaire, first billionaire. That's the energy I'm getting. You're the first in your family to bring in this bank, this stability. Whether you have this money or not right now, you're going to, okay? And we have seven of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you're investing. Whatever you're investing in right now is going to be in this ten of pentacles later on. I also feel like someone here has been feeling like they can take from you because whatever they're investing in, whatever the seeds they're planting, whatever they're reaping, they're sowing. And it's like, it's not as prosperous as yours. There's not enough. It's like they're waiting for their crops while yours is already in fruition here. This could be people that you emotionally withdrawn from, walked away from. Yeah, they're definitely doing some uh, black magic here for sure. There's some magic spells here. I'm also seeing moon magic, okay? But you are the magician, all right? You possess all the skills that you need to make your dreams come true. And we have the eight of wands. So you're manifesting something at a rapid speed, and this is justice, okay? This is your justice. You are manifesting your justice, whether you know this or not. It's like there's a lot that has been going on behind the scenes by people whom you truly cared about, okay? They've been trying to take your strength, I feel like they're working hard, disappointed, and, and you're just glowing up here, all right? But you're getting justice, my love. Things are about to be balanced. Things are working in your favor. You could be a Libra, a Gemini here with this magician. I'm 
here and the ball is in your court. All right, last messages here for my chosen ones, collective chosen ones. Ooh, yes, we have spirit guides, okay? You guys have a lot of spirit guides here, a lot of ancestors. We have Native Americans, uh, Buddha, Ganesh. We have Asia here. We have fairies. There's all types, aliens. You guys have, okay, I'm also hearing some of you guys could be getting a new spirit guide here. But there's so many spirit guides around you, and I feel like you know how to connect with them, or you will be, okay? We also have baby, all right? So there is a new beginning here. Remember to take baby steps, all right, um, in your manifestations. There are things that are slowly being manifested for you, my beautiful chosen one. And with this baby, okay, I feel like um, you work very good with babies. You're very caring about people. There's this nurturing energy about you. And your ancestors are just very proud of you. Okay, for some of you, if you've been trying to have a baby, that's going to definitely be a success for you. That could be what this success means. And hearts. Okay, there have been many disappointed here. Many people have disappointed you. Broken your heart, whether this is lovers, family members, friends. But don't forget to still reach for that, like, whatever is it that you desire. You are chosen to, to choose that destiny that you desire okay to, it's not it's not hard to reach is what i'm hearing abundance beautiful there's new beginnings there's abundance okay whatever creative project you have here with this baby it's like you need to nurture it okay remember it's very fragile follow your heart okay abundance is all around you there's a waterfall of abundance that's coming towards you this is why i kept saying you need to be careful with this deceit and these people that are going to be hostile towards you feeling like, I deserve that. And there might be strategizing, like a whole little group strategizing behind you. Because whatever you've been planning is growing and whatever they planted didn't grow. Seedlings here. Something is growing. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. And we have lovers on the bottom. I told you. A lot of you guys here are on a twin flame mission. Okay? And you could do something with your hands here. You could be artists, writers, um, web designers, uh, construction workers. I'm hearing blueprint, okay? But yeah. And let's see. Is there anything else your spirit guides should get from the chosen ones? Is there anything else? Okay, spirit is saying to pull one more from here, and then I'll let you guys go. Anything else before I let go? Yes, new beginnings. I told you there's new beginnings coming towards you, Divine Father. You're very connected to God and the universe, all right? Right now, of course, things look chaotic because you're going through a transformation. You might have also lost people that you love. All this, you need to know that you're not alone. All this, if you, some of you have lost your home, have burned in the fire, whatever, okay? You are not alone. Your garden angels are with you. And whatever you have lost, you're going to regain in abundance here some of you guys if you lost people that you've loved whether this was a baby a relationship uh a parent or a grandparent they've become your spirit guide they have now become one of your spirit guides that's that might be this new spirit guide that is coming to you okay but yes you're going through a transformation this is a time of manifestation to tap into your inner child to go run smell the roses you know um use your imagination be creative use your creativity yeah i'll end it here okay because we have leadership so again holy spirit i've already had a video of this if you want to check it out but yes you are meant to be a leader here okay because you're guided by the holy spirit you're meant to be the guiding light to help people okay guide them to to heaven guide them to the consciousness guide them to awakening from this matrix um whatever it is but you are meant to lead here clearly with that six of wands right this is a leader follow the leader 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 follow the leader and we have partnership and love. Like I told you, you're not meant to do this alone. You have a community with you, a soul tribe. And for some of you here, a lot of you twin flames, okay? So it's like there's a lot of starships, uh, uh, ancestors with you. But you're going to find your own partnership and community here, okay? That is what I have for you. Um, and yeah, and if you like see in your dreams or in real life here in the physical world, like, like ghosts or something like that, I'm hearing nature spirits. Do not be afraid, okay? These are still 
um, spirits that are in the spirit and haven't gone to the light. And I feel like you're someone that is able, that is bringing them to the light. Like for me, I'm able to do that. You know, whenever I feel dark energies around me in the room or anywhere I walk to, I send those energies right to the light because that is a gift that God has exposed to me that I have. Okay, you have that life force, my beautiful chosen one. Right down below. If you're a chosen one, let's see. What can we put in there? What little symbol for a chosen one, spirit? Spirit is saying put a wheel. If you're a chosen one, put an emoji of a wheel. Okay? All right, my love. Thank you so much. If this message resonated, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate to my channel, um, the information is down below. Doodles.